All right, guys, we got the fever. <laughs> you got the fever? Yeah. yeah. Who's got the planting fever? The spring fever. Baby chickens give me the spring fever, guys, especially meat chickens. These are Murray's Big Red Broilers. Can't wait to put these guys out on grass. It's spring now, right? It's officially spring? Oh, look at the grass. Yeah, yeah, it's officially look at spring. The tulips. We have no idea where we're gonna put these plants, guys. We're just putting them in pots so that way they can continue to grow. Yeah, just buying us some time. This is a Murray's Big Red Broilers, a red broiler, rather than the Cornish Cross. You can tell they're already getting their feathers in. They're only not even a week old yet. For whatever reason, this outside spigot is not working and this is not turning. That's definitely not very practical. So I need to go to the other side to fill this up. You know, typically we'd always buy from our feed co-op, but now we live further away from that feed co-op, so it's not very practical to use. So I'm gonna have to figure out another way to buy feed in bulk, because that is the savings. I need to buy a tote of feed is what I need to do. A tote can be anywhere from 1,000 pounds of feed to 2,000 pounds of feed. egg laying situation is kind of a mess right now. More eggs. Hey, you made Morning. it! My neighbor's here. All right, my chicken tractors are here, guys. They're, my meat tractors are finally here. I've been putting it off bringing these chicken tractors from my neighbor's house. So, I mean, he's close by. I mean, he offered to bring them, so I said, okay. This definitely helps us out, so I appreciate it, Ben. This is where we store all of our feed. So if you guys are not subscribed to the Holler Homestead, you should check them out. They're a nice family, and they're our neighbors. But yeah, that's it, guys. We have officially sold our one and a half acre homestead, and today, we officially signed all the paperwork to buy our new 14 acre homestead. All right guys, that's it. This is the final paperwork to buy our 14 acres. We finally did it. I can't believe it. It took, it took a while. <laughs> Had to have super patience, but this is it. Uh, that 14 acres is ours. Those barrels and these portable chicken coops was the last thing that we had in, in storage and our neighbors. Uh, that's the last thing that we have. So we are officially have moved all of our stuff. These were sitting outside. Let's see, usually these are watertight. There's some feed in there still. There's no water in here. That's what I love about these feed barrels. It keeps the rats out and keeps the water out. All right, there's chicken tractor number two. All right, we made it to Lowe's. One of many trips to Lowe's that we're gonna be making. I've already made many trips to Lowe's, but we're trying not to buy all the flowers, right? I'll take all of them. Focus. 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 We haven't picked a spot where we want to plant all these things. All right, back from the hardware store, we got all the flowers. Well, not all of them. We did contain ourselves, but it's hard, you know? It's warmer weather. We have new land here. I mean, we're here, guys. It's time to plant. These are elderberry cuttings that we took from our old property. We just cut them off the branches and we, they're just cuttings. And so we put them into these little pods. They're ready to go into something bigger. However, I don't, ha I don't have a space here on our new property where I wanna put them. So for now, they're just gonna go into, actually they're gonna go into bigger pots for now until I figure out where these things are gonna live. So elderberry and blueberry and they, they look really good. So look how green that spot is right there. That is where we first brought our egg layers in. When we first brought them to this property, we put them right there. So that was already almost a month ago. And look how green that grass has become. You can still see the chicken poop. So this is where they were. This is where they weren't. That is why we move our chicken coops. And I hope to do that with this whole property 
uh, as the years go on. Fertilize the soil, raising good food, raising good eggs, raising good meat chickens, and it's also improving the land and improving the soil, the grass, for future meat birds, for future chickens, for future cows, sheep, whatever we want to raise. Everything is just going to get better year after year. All right, it's pretty dark in here. But guys, today we are celebrating because we have officially bought this home and we officially sold our one and a half acres. All right, we officially sold our one and a half acres. What we got here, Penelope? Ice cream? Yeah. Back in January, we made mini blueberry pies and we froze them for this particular day. I'm stoked that we have our chicken tractors back. I'm still gonna need some kind of tarp for them because of the ones I had that were, they were pretty uh, frayed, so I threw them out. Um, so I need to order some more tarps, but I have a little bit of time because our meat chickens are not quite ready for grass. So it took a couple months for us to actually sell our mobile. And in the meantime, the owners of this place did let us stay here, which we're super thankful because that helped us out a ton. Otherwise, we wouldn't have anywhere to live because we had to move out pretty quick. So I'm super thankful for them for letting us just be here in the meantime. So after doing all the paperwork, you guys know, you know, just doing all the paperwork to buy and sell a house and man, couldn't even, I felt like it wasn't ours yet. So we were kind of limiting ourselves on what we could actually do here in the last, I don't know how long we were here, a month, two weeks? I think it's been three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. Hopefully now we could just move on. I think we need a picnic table up here so we can just sit down. <laughs> Even though we don't sit down much. All right, this is it. We made it, guys, on top of our mountain. Do you feel this is your forever home? What about you, Penelope? It doesn't even feel like my um, real home. Yeah, too right soon now. to say. It's too soon. <laughs> I know people are asking, I think, and, and definitely not the one and a half acres was our forever home. We already knew that. But I think it's too soon to say about this place. But I do hope that we're here more than five years. You yeah, know? I can see us here more than five years. Yeah. Sure. And then who knows by that time, maybe it will become that. But I guess we'll, time will tell. We'll see what, what happens. But in the meantime, it's our home now. In the meantime, it's ice cream time. Yeah. Mm. <laughs>